morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you for our time together. Please don't forget tomorrow night, wow God, a beautiful night of worship at our East Campus, 7 o'clock. We look forward to seeing you there. Right now, I want you to come back to Luke chapter 3, beginning with verse 7. New Living Translation. Here is a sample of John's preaching to the crowds that came for baptism. Now, this is just a sample. You brood of snakes, who warned you to flee from God's coming judgment? Prove by the way you live that you have really turned from your sins and turned to God. Now notice, the crowds that came. Whenever there is a move of God and whenever worship of God becomes popular in the culture, it's amazing the people that come around. It's amazing the crowds of people that come around. And it takes a prophet of God to stand up and say, excuse me, excuse me. Prove by your lifestyle, prove by the way you live that you have really turned from your sins and turned to God. It's not enough that people come to hear the sermon. It's not enough that people come to church. You should be able to look at their lives and see that they have changed. Now right now in our beloved nation, Christianity is kind of popular. I can remember when being born again was extremely unpopular. And I sometimes wonder how many people would be going to church today if Christianity was made unpopular again. See, as long as it's the crowds, everybody wants to come and be a part. But John said, it's not enough to just come be a part of what God is doing. It's not enough just to come to services and hear the preaching. As pastors, we have to stand up and challenge people. In the season of popularity, in the season of popularity, a sermon should be, prove by the way that you live, that you have turned from your sins and turned to God. If you're still sleeping with your girlfriend, if you're still getting drunk every Saturday night and going to church on Sunday, then don't tell me you're a Christian. 